vlog of the day. Just wanted to give you all a recap as I walked through the cafe. Uh, Collinsville Classic, three teams went there and competed. Competed hard over the weekend. It was pretty much kind of our first overall tournament together as an academy. Third, fifth, and sixth grade went out there and competed. Uh, starting a little bit off with the third grade. Uh, new group, uh, just now learning each other, you know, just now trying to gel, just trying to mesh. Um, went one and three, not not so hot of a start, but if you look at the scores, you look at uh, the overall picture of it, taking the wins and losses out of it, we uh, lost probably about two games by the less of three points. Learning a little bit about youth basketball, chemistry, um, experience together, growing up together, just different. Different years spent together in the gym means a lot. So finding a core that can stay together for about three years is something big, big that can change just the perception, just your your team as you're competing in these tournaments. You know, the boys really just meshing and drilling well together. So great job. So third grade, third grade trying to figure themselves out. They're gonna get it, they're gonna get going pretty good here soon. They have a uh, the Metro East League going up. The boys are asked to be uh, played up to fourth grade, so that's going to be a challenge. I'm hoping it has a kind of reverse effect on them, you know, make them play a little bit harder knowing they're playing older boys. Um, don't mind me looking like Wolfman Pack. I need a cut. Pimple on here, as you can tell, I'm a little stressed out, but you said we're blessed at the end of the day. Fifth grade going on, talking about the fifth grade. One of, one of the special groups, you know, they just got something, like I said, that chemistry um, that you really just can't coach at this level right now. Coaches love their playing at a high level. We um, got a bunch of kids that love to play together. They're unselfish. They have experience success very early, came to practice. They understand the systems. They're, they're easily, easily easily by far one of the most talented uh, groups in the area so that helps as a coach you know just having having certain kids that can make plays and change games so they came out as you all probably seen the uh, vlog yesterday came out and had a great successful tournament um, very exciting they played a lot of teams uh, that were familiar with the ball hog. One thing I'm starting to notice is uh, the effect and impact that ball hog is having on the area as, you know, uh, former and past clients are on different teams or people that we currently train that just don't play for ball hog. They're on rosters and they're playing and they're impacting the game. And, you know, it's changing the area. So it, it was very good competitive atmosphere. We uh, defeated the Spiders in the championship game by uh, I think a margin of four points. So it's just it's just something to see these boys and just the area grow. You know, as far as the, as far as like the competition uh, level rise in the area. <laughs> Moving on to sixth grade. Sixth grade, um, check a bunch of kids, man. That I think that. Uh, if you don't know them now, in about two years, <laughs> they're going to be kind of the hot kids, new kids on the block. So it's taking a little bit longer for their group to mesh a little bit, but they have uh, really, really bounced back and played very well under pressure, uh, under adversity. Uh, they were down, down big two games, clawed their way back. So they went two and two this weekend um, overall overall assumption you know I'm very pleased on how our boys are handling themselves they're performing uh, first tournament together as on the year so really interested to see how this winter group's gonna go should be good for them